90s. Even if it came down to we leave the thing over there, and then once they're composted, we truck them over. But I still think it'd be worth looking Sorry. into moving the equipment. I already said we'll have the DPW yeah. director look into it. I just mean but parking it, it, it may, it, anywhere. It, may, Mayor Walsh, it may just be that simple. No, not parking. Moving the tub grinder over there could be that simple. Okay. Thank All you. right. Thank you. Thank you. Grace Abramoff. Grace, would you like to speak now or later? Oh, okay. I just didn't know. Okay. You didn't have anything on the agenda about COA? Did I have anything? I don't believe there's anything no. on the agenda about COA, is there? No. That's why I'm coming now. Come on over. Thank you. Uh, Grace Abramov, Glenmore Road, Freehold. On um, December the 1st of 2008, there was a special meeting of the planning board uh, for the, fair ho uh, the housing element and the fair share plan. While I'm here, can you please look, because I could not find the minutes for that meeting. The meeting was December the 1st, 2008, and on the website, those minutes I could not find. Okay, So, I, I, I wouldn't know what to tell you. Well, first of all, it's a violation of the Sunshine Law if they're not available. So I just, real quick, if somebody could, maybe I'm looking in the wrong place. Okay, uh, can, can I, uh, is there any, can we have somebody at break go check? You, Mr. Nunziata's checking now. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, I I wouldn't know, Ms. Evans. Okay, sorry. no, that's that's all I wanted, and I just want, and if they're not there, where are they? Absolutely. Thank you very much. Okay, if sure, they are sweet. not there? You got them? The, is it okay with the governing body? That we'd like I'll, to wait, I'll wait five minutes. minutes. Well, if they're, if they're not there, we would have to request from the planning board. They're not the council minutes, okay. so we would have to ask the planning board regarding that the like minutes know, of the meeting. I'd like a, an answer to why they weren't there. No. I mean, it was 11 months ago. So, okay. Ms. Abelhoff will take care of it. Thank you I very guess. much. Al Peruzzi? State your name and address, please, for the record. Al Peruzzi. Into the microphone, I'm sorry, sir. Al Peruzzi, 48 South Longview Road, Howell, New Jersey. I'm an original owner on South Longview, been here for 41 years. So it, I'm gonna wanna, I, I don't want to belabor the issue about the traffic because we're all, as people that have come here have all seen and experienced the speeding, the loud noises. I have had two pets killed on that road. Sorry to hear that. Uh, but will it be inconvenient to me personally? Absolutely. Because that means I got to go out on nine, I got to make the U, the jug at Pathmark to go to the mall or to go to my daughter's house who lives on Blue Jay. But that inconvenience pales. It means nothing if a child is injured or killed because of that traffic. I have seen the close calls. I really don't want to go to a funeral. Please. I know you're going to do the study. That's great. There was a box up there for the last month. So something has been done already. Okay. I would like not to be a month going, but whatever it takes to to do something about that. And anybody familiar with Newman Springs Road? Sure. You've seen what they've done on Newman Springs Road. I have followed motorcycles, RVs, ATVs. They just stop from 35 miles an hour, they cut to 25, and they do that for almost a mile and a half to Bricktown. And I talked to an officer, he Newman said- Newman Springs Road. Newman Springs, isn't that the one that goes Newman all the way down? Newman Springs is in, is in Middletown. Red Bank, Red Bank right no, by Lincroft. No, no. That's Newman. Whatever it is, it's a Newton's Newton Corner. Corner. Right. Okay. I'm no sorry. Problem. I'm sorry. No problem. I talked to I talked to an officer and I you said, "You just lost me there for Yeah, me. I'm That's sorry. All. What did they do? And he said, initially a lot of tickets, then random, and the random got less and less. And I cannot believe how these people stop as soon as they get out of 35. Boom. 
it just dies to 25 miles an hour. And they continue all the way to Bricktown. Anyway, I've had my say. Thank you very much. It will be looked at too, sir. I'm sure we discussed, and I just want to inform you, I don't know if you, it was a process when Winston Park got closed. And right there was so. a, a, a big meeting in Middle School North where many residents from Winston Park came and voiced their opinions, thoughts, concerns. Right. Um, we have 20 residents. Uh, okay, but there was, there was a lot 20. of input into it. And when the decision was made, there was, uh, there was a lot of positive feedback and, and there, was, there was much negative feedback also. Some people wanted to, all three roads closed at Aldridge Road. <laughs> okay? And, you know, part of me agreed with that. I didn't, I didn't like the idea of splitting a development right. in half. We're a 10 year old in the winter time couldn't go a block away, the mother would have to drive them all the way around to go to their friends a block away. I mean, and I know old school is they could walk that block. My wife would not let my daughter walk, I'm telling you now. So, but it, it was a long, it was a long process. And it was started by people like yourself coming before the governing body, questioning, bringing up their concerns, there was a, a, a lengthy meeting. There was traffic studies. There was much discussion by the governing body at the time. I, I understand. And, and, that's, and that's where that occurred. And there's still negative feedback from some other people because when you stop traffic from going one place, it feeds into another. True. Okay? So some of the people, when Winston Park was closed, that traffic got fed to their streets weren't very happy. It might have been good for Winston Park, but it wasn't good for their backyard. So um, let's wait for the traffic study to come back. Um, I will give you the list tonight. So also, please get a hold of Mr. Peruzzi when we get oh, the traffic absolutely. study back, and then, and, and then we'll take it from there. So right. we started right, the process. The so okay. Thank you very much. God bless you, Norma Marino. All right, she lives on Fairfield Road. Okay, ma'am, we just wanted to make sure when the ordinance comes up. Thank you. Um, Janice Lumasukas, same thing. Uh, was I good with the last name? I'm working it. I'm working it tonight. George Ella Aloysius Krebs. You hear about the ordinance, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. Amy Frankhausen, about the ordinance? Yeah. <coughs> okay. Matt Patterson, about the ordinance? Barbara Dixel, I'm sure that you have a couple things, Bob. Come on up, dear. Come on up, Bob. For the record, I love Barbara Dixel. I want you all to love Barbara, too. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I love you all, too. Believe it or not, I do. <coughs> Um, okay, I'm here tonight to talk about several things, and one of them is water. I had the, I had the occasion to speak with uh, Mr. Dickerson of the DEP uh, with reference to the C1. And right, when you say C1, will you speak? The C1 is... You speak to everybody? Yes, the C1 is the... The governor started to declare in 2004, I think, certain rivers and certain bodies of water a C1, which means in need of special protection. Howell Township from West Farms Road South is the hole in the middle. We are not C1. And one of the reasons why we are not C1 is because of the Manasquan River. The river does not flow into the reservoir. It has to get pumped into the reservoir. Therefore, for some reason, we are not the C1. Okay. There are Things, there are days when they can't pump water into the reservoir because of iron and all, and all, all this stuff in the river, but they can't. So I've, and it, uh, there was a background thing. I had to talk to him about some application, so I wound up talking to him about the C1. I never missed a chance to talk to the DEP about C1s. You don't so, miss a chance about much, um, anyway, uh, in 2007, I was the only human being from Hal Township in this end of New Jersey who actually drove to Trenton to the water conference. 
and um, I, I delivered a whole bunch of stuff. So I spoke to David Nickerson about how the hole in the middle, and he told me.